Hey everyone, it's great to have you back again because today we are going to be reading another great book together, all right? So let's go ahead and start. Today's book is called The Mitten. Now, I know that we've read this a few times in class, so maybe if you remember it, you can help read along with me, all right? So here we go, The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. Because if his mittens were white and the snow was white, they'd blend right in, wouldn't they? But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. Uh-oh, do you think he'll lose them, or do you think he'll be able to keep them? We'll see. After she finished, she said, why don't you come home? or when you come home, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have on your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Uh-oh, see that little white mitten there? He dropped it. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. See the little mole crawling into the mitten? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So now there's two animals scrunched in there. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move in the mitten and warm himself up. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Wow, there are three animals in that mitten now. I don't know how many more it could fit. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So the talons are those big claws on the bottom of his feet. They don't want to mess with that owl, so they let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumbs up. Wow, I don't know how much more that mitten can take. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his, saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Wow, even the fox fit in the mitten. Uh-oh, look at this. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Uh-oh. So even the bear got in. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space that was left and made herself comfortable at the top of the great bear's nose. See the little mouse on his nose? I wonder what's going to happen next. Uh-oh. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered all the animals in different directions. Wow, one little sneeze blew them all over the place. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. So look, the mitten floated all the way through the sky right back to Nicky. 
He got lucky, didn't he? As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. I bet she was happy, don't you think? All right, and there she is, taking the mittens off of him now that he's nice and safe at home. So thank you so much, everybody, for reading another great story with me today. I'm so glad that you were able to enjoy it with me, and I will see you again soon for our next activity. Thank you. Bye.